The US president's personal lawyer says he's feeling good and recovering quickly in hospital after contracting coronavirus. Rudy Giuliani joins a long list of people linked to the White House to become infected and has spent the past few days unmasked, travelling and mingling as he attempts to overturn the November election result. Rudy Giuliani, unmasked, unconcerned, attending a Georgia Senate hearing three days ago. For weeks, the president's lawyer has been travelling around the US fighting the election results. There are 1,000 affidavits. 1,000 affidavits. This is a massive fraud all throughout the country. The 76-year-old now fighting the same deadly virus which has infected more than 14.5 million Americans. The president announced the diagnosis on Twitter. By far the greatest mayor in the history of New York City who has been working tirelessly, exposing the most corrupt election in the history of the USA, has tested positive for the China virus. Giuliani has courted controversy in recent months, caught with his hand down his pants in a Borat film and defying public health advice, even as his son and staff members fell sick with COVID-19. His boss wishing him well, vowing we will carry on. But carrying on is now threatening to undermine next month's critical Senate elections in Georgia, where Donald Trump held a weekend rally and pressured the governor to overturn Joe Biden's win. Calling the General Assembly back in at this point would, would almost, you know, be along the lines of, of a solution trying to find a problem. And uh, we're certainly not going to move the goalpost at this point in the election. And the president is very nearly out of time to prove his claims of fraud and corruption. The deadline for recounts and for court contests over presidential election results to be resolved is tomorrow. In Washington, D.C., Amelia Adams, Nine News.